welcoming Noah's window all this week. Mary Alice and I are talking about angels, and it's just such a wonderful study. I remember when I did the series several years ago, uh, it just amazed me how many wonderful truths in the Bible about angels there are, and yet they still remain somewhat mysterious to us. Mm -hmm. But today we're going to try to unpack uh, just some general information about angels, and yes. we won't get very far maybe, but we'll, we'll try our best to just wade into it. Yes, yeah, so a few things, we have some key verses, but before I get to those, um, so angels have intellect, and we see that reflected in the scripture, and you can find uh, some particular passages in Revelation 10 and 17, and I'll put some of the passages here. The other thing I think that reflects what angels are like is they worship and rejoice, um, and of course Luke 15, you know, um, and that's then... That's when the center returns. Yeah, they the rejoice. rejoice. And then, of course, I think about the you know when the angels appeared when the shepherds were in the field of Jesus' birth, and they were shouting glory to God. So they had they showed excitement and exuberance and rejoicing. Well, Job says they did that when the world was created. Yes. So um, and I love I love that. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Um, so you know they they have a lot of characteristics, but I think. As we talk about um, maybe more specifically some of the things that they do in relationship to us and, and uh, God's work, um, you have a verse uh, in well, Hebrews 1. Yeah, I, when I was doing the series, I especially fell in love with Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14. Uh, we know that the angels protect, they guard. We, we even hear Jesus talk about how that the angels that guard children are in the front mm -hmm. ranks of heaven. Um, but I, I really fell in love with Hebrews 1.14 because to me, just in a simple sentence, it spelled out the ministry of angels to take care of us. So I'm going to read it to you out of the Amplified Version, which fleshes it out a little bit and carries the inference of the language. Um, but here we go. Uh, at the Amplified Version, Hebrews 1.14. Are not all the angels ministering spirits? Now, ministering there means serving and we're gonna see that come out again in this verse. So let me start over again. Are not all the angels ministering spirits sent out by God to serve, and then in parentheses here it says, accompany and protect those who will inherit salvation. And then at the end, there's another little bracket that says, of course they are. And that's because of the way the Greek language is set up there to just give this as kind of an exclamation. But one more time, let's go through that. Are not all the angels ministering spirits sent out by God to serve, accompany, protect those who will inherit salvation? So if you're a God follower, if you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you invited Christ into your life to be saved, then you know that the angels are there to help you and they're there to accompany you so that you're never alone and protect the I, there, there were so many great verses about angels mm -hmm. in the Bible, but I remember when I was doing the series, I, I especially fell in love with that one. Now, I'm, I'm just going to pitch this to you because you don't normally pitch this to you, but we did have a question about a personal guardian angel. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, and I saw the question too. Okay. And, and so the, the question was, does everybody have a guardian angel? And I don't know if I read the question or not right, but the idea might be that we would have, we would need at least 8 billion angels mm -hmm. because the population on the planet. I don't know the answer to that question. I know that the angels do guard. Does everyone have an individual angel? First of all, I, I don't know that there's any uh, statement in scripture that would lead us to believe that lost people have an angel. So there wouldn't be a need for a full 8 billion of them, I guess. But I'm not saying there aren't 8 billion. We Although, really don't know. Yeah, there, well, there was a scripture we were reading, I think, yesterday that said there are millions of millions. Millions of millions, yeah. So, so there's a lot of angels. And, and I remember just doing a study on that and I, I can't recall if I brought that in the first message of the series on angels several years ago. So I, I really don't know. I, I, I just know this. I know every believer has God's angels guarding, accompanying and protecting, protecting us because the Bible declares that. So whether I have an individual angel or if I have an angel that's assigned to five people. Maybe you have a rotation. Huh? <laughs> I, I just don't, I don't know the answer to that. But I don't know that I need to because, you know, the fact of the matter is one angel is so powerful. We talked about this earlier that, um, you know, when when Hezekiah, or, or I don't know it wasn't Hezekiah, it was, was it Joshua? I can't remember. My, my mind is phasing out on me. But one of the kings. One of the kings 
uh, ha had uh, the Assyrians come against them and one angel killed 185,000. I think it was Hezekiah, now that I think about it. So, you know, all the angels are very powerful. We know that. <laughs> very powerful. And they do serve a company and protect us. Well, and that goes back to the misinformation that our culture gives where you think of a, you know, a sweet little cherub, you know, floating around because the angels are not that. That's it's right. Not, and, not. And, we, and, and one of the expressions that I found over and over, and I can't remember how many times, I want to say 252 times, the Bible calls the Lord of heaven calls God the Lord of heaven's armies. Well, heaven's armies are the angels. angels. Yeah, yes. and and you see this back uh, in the ministry of Elisha. You remember mm -hmm. when uh, the uh, king of Syria came to he sent his army just to get Elisha, and Elisha's servant Gehazi wakes up and sees the armies of Syria all around his house. And remember, that's when Elisha said, "Lord, open his eyes mm -hmm. and let him see." And when uh, God opened his spiritual eyes. He was able to see that the armies of heaven were surrounding yes. the armies of Syria. So, uh, yeah. And the more recent story, if you've, if you've uh, looked into some of the books that we recommended, I can't remember which one it was, but there's a more recent story of a missionary couple, and I can't even remember what country they were in. If you go look, you'll find it. But um, they were in a very precarious place in some... Uh, very hostile natives were coming after them, uh, mm -hmm. stated that they were going to uh, kill them, and it was just the missionary and his wife. And they were fully prepared that they were gonna die, And uh, but the next morning they were fine, and later on that leader came to know the Lord, and so the missionary asked him, you know, why didn't you kill us that time? And he said, well, where did all those soldiers come from? Where did all those, you know, uh, so God had surrounded them with his angels. That's one of Stephen's favorite stories. He loves telling that story to me. Let me just go one more place now while we're, because I want to make sure that we, we do our best to answer that wonderful question yes. that came in. Uh, does everyone have an individual angel? I do, and one more time, I just don't know the answer to that. But I want to go back to uh, the scripture in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14, because even though I emphasize that the angels serve, protect, accompany us, I wonder if I didn't leave out the most important part. Mm -hmm. So let me go over it one more time. Are not all the angels ministering spirits sent out by God to serve, accompany, and protect those who will inherit salvation? I really think the most important phrase in that is sent out by God. Mm -hmm. So God is up in heaven assigning his angels wherever they need to go. Mm -hmm. um, so if we need one, I know the Lord will send that angel to us. And we do see uh, examples over and over that God does send them out uh, in an, in an, on an assignment. Right. Which that does take me to our other passage. Yeah, I love this yeah, one. Yeah, in the book of Psalm, Psalms, uh, Psalm 103, and um, I encourage you to go read the whole chapter, but verse 21 says, Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, that's referring to the angels, you who serve him and do his will. So uh, these angels are, are on assignment. Yeah. They're all on assignment. I love that. They are. And and those who have been faithful to God, we know them as angels. Of course, those that were unfaithful, um, we know them as demons. Yes. But those who are faithful to God, they do what God tells them to yeah. do. They, they are certainly they their, obedient. They made their choice long ago. That's right. And and so I hope that encourages your heart today as we think about the angels and their ministry. Uh, it's, it's just a wonderful subject. If you're God's daughter or God's son and you feel alone today, you're not. That's you're right. Not. You have the Holy Spirit in you. We talked about yes. that a week ago. And you have the angels of God surrounding you. Mm. So you're very blessed. And what we all are, those of us who are saved. Mm. Mary Alice, would you pray for us? Yes, let's pray. Oh, Father, we are so thankful that you have taken such good care of us and that you send your angels to accompany and protect and watch over us. And we're just so thankful, Father, that you love us that much. And we're thankful for uh, the fact that even things that are invisible are very powerful and uh, that you are in control. I just pray that you would uh, continue to watch over each and every one that's watching or listening today, that you would most of all draw them into your presence. May they feel and know your love today. And I just pray that you would guide in all their uh, activities, whatever the challenges are, and that you would just make provision as only you can. And we'll be careful to give you the glory and the honor and the praise. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today on Noah's Window. God willing, we'll be back tomorrow to talk a little more about angels. Yes, we love you guys, and we'll see you again tomorrow. God bless.